Hello students, in our last class we identified three important methods of doing the factorization of a given algebraic fraction that is number 1 by taking common factor method, number 2 by rearranging the grouping the terms and number 3 using the three basic identities. Today we will see one more important method which is we call it as fourth method to find or to identify the factors of the given algebraic expression. Also we will see how division can be performed on the given algebraic expressions. I welcome all of you for the second part of this particular chapter. Today first we will discuss the fourth method of finding the factors. The method is given as follows. Method 4 factors of the form x plus a into x plus b. Let us discuss how we can factorize the expressions in one variable like x square plus 5x plus 6, y square minus 7x plus 12, z square minus 4z minus 12, 3m square plus 9m plus 6 etc. Note that in all these algebraic expressions the last constant term is not a perfect square. Hence we cannot apply any of those three basic identities to find the factors of these expressions. So, for that we are going to apply another important identity which we call it as fourth identity. However, these expressions are actually of the form x square plus a plus b into x plus a b. This we call it as fourth identity. It is given by as follows. Fourth identity x plus a into x plus b is equal to x square plus a plus b into x plus a b. We have to look at the coefficients of x and the constant term. In fact, to apply this identity, the general rule is given as follows. For factorize expression of the type x square plus px plus q, we find two factors a and b of q that is constant term such that a into b is equal to q and a plus b is equal to p. Then the expression becomes x square plus a plus b into x plus a b or x square plus a x plus b x plus a b. From the first two terms by taking x as a common factor we get x into x plus a plus in the next two terms by taking b as a common factor we can write b into x plus a. Now note that x plus a is a common factor for both the terms. By taking it as common we can write it as x plus a into x plus b which are the required algebraic factors. So, in this way by identifying the factors of the constant term we can split the given expression into two factors from that we identify the required factors of the given algebraic expression. Let us see how to do these things by observing an example. Example 1 factorize x square plus 6x plus 8. Consider the given expression x square plus 6x plus 8. If we compare the right hand side of the identity 4 with this expression we find a into b is equal to 8 and a plus b is equal to 6. From this we must find a and b so that the factors x plus a and x plus b can be obtained. Note that a into b is equal to 8 means 
A and B are factors of H. Let us try first by taking A is equal to 8 and B is equal to 1. Then clearly 8 into 1 is equal to 8, but A plus B that is 8 plus 1 is equal to 9 which is not equal to 6. Therefore, this choice is not right. Let us try by taking A is equal to 2 and B is equal to 4. Then A into B means 2 into 4 is equal to 8 and A plus B that is 2 plus 4 is equal to 6 and that is the term we want. So, this clearly holds true for the given requirement. Hence, we can write it as x square plus 6 x plus 8 is equal to x plus 2 into x plus 4. Thus, the required factors of the given algebraic expression are x plus 2 and x plus 4. Let us see one more example. Example 2 factorize y square minus 10 y plus 21. Consider the given expression y square minus 10 y plus 21. So, again by comparing the right hand side of the identity 4 with this expression we find a into b is equal to 21 and a plus b is equal to minus 10. If a b is equal to 21 means that a and b are factors of 21. Note that their product must be 21 and their sum must be minus 10 means we have to take both the terms are negative. So, let us try a is equal to minus 21 and b is equal to minus 1. Then for these values a into b is equal to 21, but a plus b is equal to minus 22 which is not equal to minus 10. So, this choice is not right. Now, let us try a is equal to minus 3 and b is equal to minus 7. Then clearly a into b that is minus 3 into minus 7 is equal to 21 and a plus b is equal to minus 3 plus minus 7 that is equal to minus 10 which is exactly what we required. So, the factorized form of the given algebraic expression is given by y square minus 10 y plus 21 is equal to y minus 3 into y minus 7. Thus, the required factors are y minus 3 and y minus 7. Now, let us take one more example. Example 3 factorize p square plus 6 p minus 16. Consider the given expression p square plus 6 p minus 16. Again, if you compare the RHS of the identity 4 with this expression, we find a into b is equal to minus 16 and a plus b is equal to 6. Look at a b is equal to minus 16 means a and b are factors of minus 16. Note that a should be positive and bigger than b then only a plus b is equal to positive number possible. So, let us try a is equal to 16 and b is equal to minus 1. Then a into b is equal to 16 into minus 1 that is equal to minus 16 ok, but a plus b that is 16 plus of minus 1 is equal to 15 which is not right. So, let us try a is equal to 2 and b is equal to minus 8. For this a into b is equal to minus 16, but a plus b is equal to 2 plus of minus 8 that is minus 6 which is again not equal to plus 6. 
therefore, this choice is also not right. Now, let us try a is equal to 8 and b is equal to minus 2. For this a into b is equal to minus 16 and a plus b is equal to 8 plus minus 2 that is 6 which is exactly what we required. Hence, the factorized form of the given algebraic expression is p square plus 6 p minus 16 is equal to p minus 8 into p plus 2. Thus, the required factors are p minus 8 and p plus 2. I hope by observing these examples, you will get an idea how to factorize such type of algebraic expressions. For your practice, I am giving some problems, please try it find the factors. Work for practice, factorize the following 1 x square minus 12 x minus 35, 2 z square minus 20 z plus 99, 3 6 p square minus p minus 2. For the last problem note that your a into b is here 6 into minus 2 that is equal to minus 12. From that you try to find the factors by applying fourth method. In this way we have seen four different methods to find the factors of the given algebraic expression. I hope these things will help you to identify the factors of the given algebraic expression. Now, let us see another important aspect of the given algebraic expressions that is how to perform the division operation. We have already seen how to operate addition, subtraction and multiplication operations on the given algebraic expressions. Now, we will see how to find the division on the algebraic expression. We recall that division is an inverse process of multiplication. Hence, in numbers if you consider this example as follows 8 into 6 is equal to 48 this gives 48 divided by 8 is equal to 6 or 48 divided by 6 is equal to 8. We may similarly follow the division process with respect to algebraic expressions. Let us see some examples. 2 x into 3 x square is equal to 6 x square. Therefore, 6 x square divided by 2 x is equal to 3 x square. Also, 6 x square divided by 3 x square is equal to 2 x. Similarly, we can see 5 x into x plus 4 is equal to 5 x square plus 20 x. Therefore, 5 x square plus 20 x divided by 5 x is equal to x plus 4. Also, 5 x square plus 20 x divided by x plus 4 is equal to 5 x. Now, we will see how this division operation can be performed on different types of algebraic expressions. Type 1 division of a monomial by another monomial. We know that monomial is an algebraic expression containing one term. So, for such type of monomial how to perform the division is explained as below. By expressing each monomial in irreducible factor form and cancelling the common factors among them we perform the division operation. Let us illustrate this by different examples. Example 1 divide 24 x y square z cube by 6 y z square. First we write the given both the terms in the irreducible form. Look at 24 x y square z cube is equal to 
24 can be written in the irreducible form as 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into x into y square is y into y and z cube is z into z into z. Similarly, 6 y z square is equal to 6 can be written as in the irreducible form as 2 into 6 into y into z square is z into z. Now, we group factors of first term into separate 6 y z square that is 24 x y square z cube is equal to 6 y z square into 4 x y z. Therefore, 24 x y square z cube divided by 6 y z square is equal to 4 x y z. A short way to do the cancellation of the common factor is given as follows. Look at 24 x y square z cube divided by 6 y z square is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into x into y into y into z into z into z divided by 2 into 3 into y into z into z. Now, by cancelling common things we left with 4 into x into y into z that is equal to 4 x y z. Example 2 divide 63 a square b to the power of 4 c to the power of 6 by 7 a square b square c cube. Just like in the previous problem look at the first term that is 63 a square b to the power of 4 c to the power of 6 is equal to the factors of 63 are 7 into 3 into 3 into a square you keep it as it is into b to the power of 4 can be written as b square into b square and c to the power of 6 can be written as c cube into c cube. Therefore, let us take 7 a square b square c cube as one poor group then we get 7 a square b square c cube into the remaining product is 9 b square c cube. Therefore, 63 a square b to the power of 4 c to the power of 6 divided by 7 a square b square c cube is equal to 9 b square c cube. In this way by identifying the common factors which is exactly equivalent to the denominator of the given division we can get the cancellation and hence we can find the division of those algebraic expressions. So, I hope you understand this method for your practice I am giving some problems. Work for practice divide the following number 1 7 x cube y cube z to the power of 4 by 21 x y z. Number 2 minus 65 x to the power of 7 by 13 x to the power of 5. Number 3 100 y cube z to the power of 8 by 25 y z square. Type 2 division of a polynomial by monomial. In fact, note that when we want to divide a polynomial by a monomial, we have to see the irreducible factors of each terms. Then by taking it as common factors and using the type 1 method, we perform the division. Let us illustrate this in the following examples. Example 1 divide a trinomial 3 y to the power of 8 minus 4 y to the power of 6 plus 5 y to the power of 4 by y to the power of 4. 
first look at 3 y to the power of 8 minus 4 y to the power of 6 plus 5 y to the power of 4 can be written as 3 y to the power of 4 into y to the power of 4 minus 4 y square into y to the power of 4 plus 5 into y to the power of 4. By writing like this, you can see that y to the power of 4 becomes a common factor in each term. Hence, we can write it as y to the power of 4 into 3 y to the power of 4 minus 4 y to the power of 2 plus 5. Therefore, 3 y to the power of 8 minus 4 y to the power of 6 plus 5 y to the power of 4 divided by y to the power of 4 is equal to y to the power of 4 into 3 y to the power of 4 minus 4 y to the power of 2 plus 5 divided by y to the power of 4. Now, by type 1, by cancelling the common factors y to the power of 4 on both numerator and denominator, we get 3 y to the power of 4 minus 4 y square plus 5. In this way, we can perform the division of a polynomial by a monomial. For your practice, I am giving some more problems. Please try it. Work for practice. Divide the following. P cube q to the power of 6 minus P to the power of 6 into Q cube by P cube into Q cube. Number 2. X cube plus 2x square plus 3x by 2x. 3. 32 into x square y z plus x y square z plus x y z square by 4 x y z. Hope it will help you after practicing such problems you will get the idea how to divide a polynomial by a monomial. Now type 3. Type 3 division of algebraic expressions other than monomials. Here in this section, we perform the division among the polynomials other than monomials. It is illustrated by as follows. Example 1. Divide 10y into 6y plus 21 by 5 into 2y plus 7. Note that both are bigger than monomials. First look at the first term. 10y into 6y plus 21 is equal to 5 into 2 into y into 3 into 2y plus 3 into 7. So, by taking 3 as a common factor in the bracket term, we get 5 into 2 into 3 into y into 2y plus 7. Therefore, we are left with 5 into 2y plus 7 into 2 into 3 into y. Hence, we can write it as 10y into 6y plus 21 divided by 5 into 2y plus 7 is equal to 5 into 2y plus 7 into 2 into 3 into y divided by 5 into 2y plus 7. Hence, by cancelling the common term 5 into 2y plus 7, we have 2 into 3 into y. Therefore, it is equal to 6y. Example 2. Divide 5p q into p square minus q square by 2p into p plus q. First look at 5p q into p square minus q square is equal to 5 into p into q into we know that from third identity p square minus q square can be written as p plus q into p minus q. Hence, we have 5 p q into p square minus q square divided by 2 p into p plus q is equal to 5 into p into q into 
p plus q into p minus q divided by 2 p into p plus q. Hence, by cancelling the common terms p into p plus q. Therefore, we have p into p plus q into phi q into p minus q divided by 2 p into p plus q is equal to phi by 2 q into p minus q. In this way, from the given algebraic expression by considering their common factors which is equivalent to the corresponding common factors of the denominator and cancelling them we can perform the division of given to algebraic expressions. For your practice I am giving some more problems. Work for practice divide the following m square minus 14 m minus 32 by m plus 2 number 2 4 y z into z square plus zig z minus 16 by 2 y into z plus 8 third one 30 y cube into 50 y square minus 98 by 26 y square into 5 y plus 7. So, in this way we can perform the division operation among the given algebraic expressions. Now, at the end I would like to give one special concept that where we are considering the addition, multiplication or division of polynomials and normally students are committing mistakes. By observing certain examples, we will see how these errors occurs and how we can remove those errors and finding the correct answer. Okay. Let us check this by illustrating the following examples. So, in the following examples, you have to find out what is the exact error and what is the reason and what is the correct answer. First one, while solving an equation, Sarita does the following. 3x plus x plus 5x is equal to 72. Therefore, 8x is equal to 72. Therefore, x is equal to 72 by 8 that is equal to 9. Can you identify the error in this flow? Yes. In case of x, the coefficient 1 is there. She is not taking that 1 because of that reason she got 8x instead of 9x. Therefore, even there are no coefficients mentioned with variable x, you should assume that 1 is always there. So, in the addition we have to use that one. Then what is the correct process? Let us observe. 3x plus x plus 5x is equal to 72 becomes 3 plus 1 plus 5 x is equal to 72 that becomes 9 x is equal to 72. Therefore, it is actually equal to 9 x is equal to 72. Therefore, x is equal to 72 by 9 that is equal to 8. Now, consider the second example. Appu did the following. For x is equal to minus 3, 5 x is equal to 5 minus 3 that is equal to 2. What is the mistake he did? In the 5 x it is actually product of 5 and x. Therefore, for x is equal to minus 3 means we have to multiply 5 into minus 3. He did it 5 minus 3 that is the mistake he did. Therefore, what exactly we have to do? Let us see. For x is equal to minus 3, 5 x is equal to 5 into minus 3 that is equal to minus 15. This is the correct answer. Now, look at the another task. Namrata and Salma have done the multiplication of algebraic expression in the following manner. Namrata 3 into x plus 4 is equal to 3 x minus 4. Salma 3 into x plus 4 is equal to 3 x minus 12. Who is correct? 
yes salma is correct because when you want to multiply a constant to the given binomial you have to multiply that constant to both the terms therefore 3 into x minus 4 is actually equal to 3 into x minus 3 into 4 that is equal to 3 x minus 12. Second one number the 2 x whole square is equal to 2 x square. Salma 2 x whole square is equal to 4 x square. Who is correct here? Yes, again Salma is correct because when we take 2 x whole square means both variables and constant we have to multiply. Therefore, 2 x whole square means 2 x times 2 x that is actually equal to 4 x square. Let us take one more x plus 8 whole square is equal to x square plus 64. This is done by Namrata. Now, see how Salma has did x plus 8 whole square is equal to x square plus 16 x plus 64. Who is correct? Again Salma is correct because x plus 8 whole square means it is not just the square of x square and 8 square. In that way Namrata has did. Do you remember the first identity a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2 a b plus b square. Like that only Salma has did it therefore, she got the answer as x plus 8 whole square is equal to x square plus 16 x plus 64. So, in this way you please try to identify the errors in the following exercises for you people and correct it. They are as follows work for practice find the error and correct it. 4 into x minus 5 is equal to 4 x minus 5. 2 x whole square plus 5 x is equal to 4 x plus 5 x that is equal to 9 x. 3 x plus 2 whole square is equal to 3 x square plus 6 x plus 4. In these examples try to identify the error and rectify it and find the correct answer. So, let us recall what are the things we did in this part. We first we discuss one important method how to find the factors by using the fourth identity that is x plus a into x plus b is equal to x square plus a plus b into x plus a b. Next we did how division can be performed under different types. In type 1 we observe division of a monomial by monomial. In type 2 we observe division of a polynomial by a monomial and in type 3 we observe division of any two algebraic expressions. And at the end we saw how errors can occur in performing different operations among the algebraic expressions and how to correct it. I hope that these things will help you to understand this chapter in a better way. Have a nice day. Goodbye.